Field trips are awesome. You know, we all love field trips, but they don't have to be isolated experiences. So UMS is extending the learning from the field trip into the classroom. I saw pictures and a clip of that diner ball that happened um, back when the Civil Rights Movement was starting up. <coughs> it was really linked to uh, the way they were dancing. To what you saw. Mm -hmm. um, the thing about the space is that like, they didn't just stay, like, if they were in one spot, there would be another person that would come in. They always like had a like really smart way to fill in the space. They kept up the same like energy the whole time, which was really cool. Cause that's a lot of like that's a lot of work. I actually kind of thought that when the clips were playing, they kind of drew my attention more than the dance. Okay. And it almost felt like the dance was supporting the video rather than oh. the video supporting the dance. UMS presented Kyle Abraham's dance company Abraham in Motion. It was a pretty complicated performance. It dealt with issues of race, gender, equality, and surrounding that performance, we visited seven different schools and did 16 pre-show workshops and 16 post-show. So we're gonna quickly go over the Emancipation Proclamation. That was one of the ideas that Kyle was looking at, researching and analyzing as he was putting together these dances. So where are my writers in the classroom? See some writers. So what is it that motivates you or inspires you that makes you want to put pen to paper or pencil to paper and write a story? Problems in like the world and that kind of stuff. Um, most of my um, writing ideas come from dreams. How many of you like the artist Eminem? What do you think inspires Eminem to write his music or his raps? His past, right? So he's drawing on his personal experience. There's this misconception about theater and music that still exists with young audiences. So they might be afraid that they're gonna be bored. But if we give them a little context to get them excited, then they're gonna be going in with the right attitude and they'll be tuned in and they'll know what to look for. So all of the kind of like silliness or all of the, you know, gunk from the morning, just kind of shake it off. Uh, you know, not only are we nice helping on. students to become How thoughtful, critical audience members, but we're also teaching cooperation, we're teaching team building, and we're teaching children to, to be spontaneous through theater and dance games, you know, helping them to, to think on their feet, to be bold even when they might be unsure. If I touch you on the shoulder, what might your character say? Shh. Oh no, Johnny's dead! <laughs> We learned history in sort of an unusual, fun way. I mean, I've experienced workshops, but nothing like this. Normally, they're just people that come in and then talk to you and then leave. So then after the kids had seen the show and we went back into the classroom, that energy level was still there. We wanted students to have opinions about the show, whether they liked it, whether they were bored, but what they had to do and what they all could do after these workshops was give us the why. One of the things that we did was ask students to say words that came to mind when they thought of the performance. Hard to understand. Meaningful? Complex. Effort. Talk a little bit about deep. They would dance and that, but that's not all that you would see. It's not, you're not just sitting there watching them dance. You're seeing, you're seeing them tell a story with their bodies pretty much. And they're, and the sound of the music and the, in the background. Who said meaningful? Um, I don't know, I got a lot of like the, like the emancipation proclamation stuff, but like what happened after, and like how like it's still not like totally meaningful. What we're hoping to provide for teachers and students is access to world-class performers, but also helping them frame academic content that they all have to learn anyway, in a different way. There are obviously some students out there that don't learn by textbook alone. And you never know what's gonna make something click for a kid. And so maybe us coming in and talking about the Emancipation Proclamation and, and how it relates to styles of jazz dance is gonna be that thing that, that turns that light bulb on.